Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello there. I am your teacher for this question. Now let's read the question together. So in the following exercises, we need to simplify the expression. An expression we're given is negative 23 times 2n. Now, in order to do this question, here's some basic principles that you need to understand. So for multiplying terms, first of all, when you're trying to multiply a constant value by a variable with coefficient, the first thing to do is to multiply the constant value by the coefficient. So basically multiplying the coefficient. And then you want to combine that coefficient with your variables. All right, for example, if you're given the expression that is two multiplied by three A, as we can see, two is the constant value, whereas three is the coefficient of the variable A. So the first thing you wanna do is to multiply that uh, those two values. So you're going to multiply two by three and then combine it with a. So two times three is basically uh, going to be six, and six is going to be the final coefficient for the result. And now let's combine the six with the variable. So six times a is basically six a. And that is the final result for that expression. Now, with that in mind, you can go ahead and try to simplify this expression by yourself and come back if you have an answer. All right, now let's do this question together. So negative 23 times 2n. As we can see, negative 23 is the constant value, whereas 2 is the coefficient of the variable. So the first thing we want to do is to multiply negative 23 by 2. And then we're going to combine it with the variable n. So as you know, negative 23 times 2 is equal to negative 46. And that is the final coefficient for our result. Now let's combine it with the variable. So negative 46 times n is simply equal to negative 46n. Now, that is the final answer for this question. Looking back to the whole process of solving this question, is there any important takeaways for us to memorize? So whenever you are trying to simplify an expression that has a constant value multiplied by a variable that has a coefficient in the front, the first thing to do is to get the final coefficient by multiplying the constant value with the coefficient of that variable so that you will have the final coefficient for your result. And after that, you wanna combine that coefficient with the variable so that you will have the final answer for this question. That is basically how you can solve a question like this. Now we're done with this question. Thank you so much for watching.